Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark and Metal video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how Vegeta does uh, in every red zone. I've decided to change up my red zone videos uh, and really just showcase how units do across the board or in the majority of red zones or red zones they're good in uh, rather than you know, choosing one enemy. Just think it makes it more interesting. It makes it more interesting for me, uh, to be honest, to talk about it. Uh, because yeah, you know, measuring up units against like Fusions of Mars is great because he's the hardest fight in the game on global at least right now. But yeah, it's not great for every unit and it's a bit unfair to evaluate every unit that way. And it, it's hella boring to evaluate every unit that way. So starting with Vegeta, we're gonna be looking at every unit in the red zone. And yeah, Vegeta uh, does a great job. Uh, he dominates every single red zone without a doubt, um, without like even remotely uh, a concern 55% 79% 100% doesn't matter uh, Vegeta is he's that guy uh, right now I would almost say he could potentially be the strongest unit on global right now like Vegeta is very 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 strong uh, a very very potent unit and yeah he look he's looking good like he's looking really really good uh, I do think, you know, for me, um, like my opinion on him, I think he is really benefiting from the fact that, at least right now on Global, uh, you can transform him quite early on, and he tanks well. Uh, so in some of these fights, like Fusion Zamasu, um, you know, Metal Core Cooler, uh, essentially you're transforming him immediately, like pretty much so, and he's still doing fantastic. Um, I will say, you know, 55% damage is not amazing, like not amazing, amazing, it's good, but it's not crazy, it's not, I've seen units of 55% do more damage, um, but it's the combined kit that's really excellent, and Super Saiyans on global right now isn't even a bad team, uh, Super Saiyans is actually a really solid team on global right now, uh, and it, it gets even better the ninth anniversary which is crazy but um vegeta really has a strong team like he has a really strong team i've been enjoying using the super saiyans team uh it's a look it's a bit limited i think if you have all the right units it's a super strong team um for sure but i think you know vegeta really excels um he has no issue in any red zone uh Broly, probably the one he dominates the most I mean you would have seen that in the beginning just because it gives him so much time to kind of build up uh, in terms of Cell Max uh, very easy fight for him as well uh, Cell Max just really doesn't you know, just tickles him just really can't handle him uh, to be honest with you then looking at Metal Core Cooler um, theoretically should be an issue for him but because he has that guard uh, for those first couple of turns you know He's not having any major issues, really, in terms of, like, protecting himself against the Int Metal Core Cooler. So, you know, he handles that more than fine as well. So, realistically, he's just got no event on Global right now that his kit doesn't allow him to deal with. Uh, which I think is good. It, it's obviously very good for him to be able to have those abilities, you know the ability to deal with a lot of these situations i think it's fantastic however like i said um you do also have to kind of accept you have to be like okay well his damage can be a little bit low like a tiny bit low i think it's something you know is maybe the only thing i'd point out at 55 percent he's not like dominating these events from a damage point of view still fantastic defensively just not dominating from an offensive point of view. However, once you get dupes in him, and once he starts to really just fire off all of those crits and everything, uh, then it's yeah, it's a completely different story. Then he completely annihilates um, the event quite quite well. Um, like, but you can see here. I mean, like even against Metal Core Cooler here, yeah, he tanks brilliantly, uh, and then you can see the damage is good. It's not insane. I mean, like if you compared it to like a strength. LR Gogeta, uh, the fifth year LR, and his EZA, you know, he incinerates Metal Core Cooler. Like, he absolutely incinerates him. That active skill turn, he he goes nuts. 
but he also can't deal with the level of situational defense that Vegeta has. Unless you get the benefit of the interrupt, uh, you just get a lot. I mean, Vegeta just does a lot, and he just feels right now he feels very overpowered uh, on global. Like he's just feeling, he feels very overpowered. He feels very, yeah, you know, OP. Uh, there's really no other way to say it. He he feels strong and he is strong, um, and he dominates red zone. Absolutely, absolutely handled the red zone with ease. Um, I don't think there was a single fight I had to use an item. There wasn't a single fight I had to pretty much do anything um, with him specifically. His team, Super Saiyans, also, if you have all the strongest units, if you have the Int LR trio, if you have physical you know, trunks, if you have strength, future Gohan, uh, yeah, uh, you know, fine, more than fine. Uh, if you don't have his strongest units, then yeah, that's where things start to collapse a little bit for his team. But yeah, overall, honestly, super duper 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 awesome run. And Vegeta, fantastic. Um, just really, really dominates the entire event. You can even see him here tanking you know, physical fusions of Asu. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous, really. But yeah, that's basically going to be it for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. It's always greatly appreciated. And yeah, that's pretty much it from me. Um, I think Vegeta holds his own excellently. I think he's an excellent unit. Uh, I think he's fantastic. And yeah, at the end of the day, I'm super duper impressed with him. And yeah, I think a lot of players who have him will be impressed too. Uh, at least that's my take on it. But as always, uh, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and yeah, let me know how you find Vegeta and how he does in Red Zone. How do you think he performs, etc. I think it'll be interesting to see. That's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care, stay safe, and as always, bye.